Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the conditions necessary for the harbour process. We've talked about the harbour process in the past then, which is nice and simply hydrogen and nitrogen reacting together to make ammonia. What you also need to know is how we actually do it in terms of the conditions. And there are three things you need to know, which is the temperature, which is 450 degrees C, the pressure, which is 200 atmospheres, and using a catalyst, which is iron. If we start off with temperature then, we've already said that it occurs at 450 degrees C. What you don't know is that in a reversible reaction, there is both an exothermic and an endothermic direction. So for this one, the forward reaction is exothermic and the backwards reaction is endothermic. Now, if you increase the temperature, it's always going to favor the endothermic direction, which in this case is backwards. And what that means is the yield, the amount of NH3 you get is going to go down. It also means the equilibrium is going to shift to the left. So if increasing the temperature decreases the yield of NH3, why are we using it? And it's all to do with kinetic theory, which we'll be coming on to later on in the GCSE. And the basics of it is, although we're not getting as much NH3 ammonia produced, it's going to be produced really quickly. Now basically, if you increase the temperature, the particles are going to move faster. They're going to have more kinetic energy. If they have more kinetic energy, they're going to bump into each other. They're going to collide more. You'll get more collisions per second. So we say that 450 degrees is a compromise between the yield you get and the speed at which you get it. If we move on to pressure, when you increase the pressure, what will actually happen is the particles are all going to be closer together. So what will happen is it will favour the side with the least molecules, which in this case is my products, NH3. I've got two NH3 molecules, whereas on the left hand side I have three hydrogen molecules and one nitrogen, so four in total. Therefore, in this reaction, the equilibrium will shift to the right. I'm going to get more of my NH3 produced and my yield is going to increase. The question again, why do we use 200 atmospheres? Why do we not go higher than that if we know that pressure increases the yield of ammonia? And nice and simply, it's to do with cost. So as we increase the pressure, it becomes more and more expensive to actually make the facilities to, to do that. So what we have to do is compromise yet again between cost and the yield that is produced. The final condition for the harbour process is to use a catalyst, which in this case is iron. Now a catalyst, nice and simply, speeds up a chemical reaction. But the beauty of it is it doesn't get used up, which means if you start off with 5 grams of your catalyst, you end up with 5 grams of your catalyst and you can use it again and again. So that's everything that you need for this video. Let's have a look at some questions just to see how much you've picked up. So the first one is a nice and simple recollection of the three conditions needed to produce ammonia in the harbour process. So it's your temperature, your pressure and your catalyst. What temperature, what pressure, what catalyst. Number two, explain the decisions behind choosing the temperature for ammonia production in the harbour process. So we've already said that it's going to be this temperature. Why? Why do we not have higher or lower temperature? So talk in terms of the fact that one way is exothermic, one way is endothermic. Which way does this favour when you increase the temperature? Also talk about kinetic theory to explain to me why we settle on 450 degrees. For number three, explain the decisions behind choosing the pressure for ammonia. So same again, why do we settle on the number we've chosen? Why do we not go higher? Why do we not go lower? And number four, explain what else other than the temperature and pressure is needed for ammonia production in the harbour process. So we should already realise it's going to be a catalyst. Why? What does the catalyst do? Two marks, two points. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. So number one, identify the three conditions needed to produce ammonia in the harbour process. So we start off with temperature, that's 450 degrees C, which gets you one mark. The pressure is 200 atmospheres, and then your catalyst is an iron catalyst. So one mark for each of those. Explain the decisions behind choosing the temperature for ammonia production. So the first thing you want to talk about is that the forward reaction is exothermic. And by increasing the temperature, it favours the endothermic reaction, which means the equilibrium is going to shift to the left and you're going to have a lower yield of ammonia. So that's four different things you could have put down there for four marks. We can continue. There are extra things you could put in, which are lower temperatures reduce the rate of reaction. Less kinetic energy means less collisions per second. And then finally, summing up, 
450 degrees is a compromise between yield and the speed slash rate of reaction. So it's quite wordy there, so I would take a bit of time to get those written down and learn those steps. That's how you explain why we use 450 degrees C. If we move on to question three, explain the decisions behind choosing the pressure for ammonia production in the harbour process. So nice and simply to begin with, increasing the pressure favours the side with the fewer molecules, which in the harbour process is the right hand side, our ammonia, so there are less molecules on the right hand side, or you can talk about the ratio, there are two molecules on the right, four on the left. Equilibrium will shift to the right, and what does that mean? We'll get a higher yield of ammonia. It's then talking about why do we not increase above 200 atmospheres, more pressure, more expensive. So finally, it's your compromise, which is 200 atmospheres, is a compromise between yield and cost, gets you an extra mark. So there's six ways you could have got the four marks there. And then finally, explain what else other than temperature and pressure is needed for ammonia production in the harbour process. So we know it's a catalyst, and what do they do? Speed up the rate of reaction. And what's so special about them? They don't get used up. That brings this video to an end. We have got a review question for you, which is, the harbour process is used to produce ammonia, NH3. Explain the conditions necessary to produce ammonia in the harbour process. So this is summing up everything you've learned. What are the three conditions, temperature, pressure, and catalyst, and why do we use them? Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.